The circumference of a circle is very easy to calculate as long as you know this formula. C equals 2 pi r. In this formula, C stands for the circumference we are trying to find. R is the radius. The radius of a circle is the distance from its center to its edge. You can see the radius of this circle here. And this cute little letter over here is pi, which is a special number used for calculating the circumference of the circle. Pi is approximately 3.14 but you don't need to worry about its exact value right now because in most math problems, you can simply leave it as pi. Now, let's take a look at this circle which has a radius of 5. This will take no time. Let's put the radius into the formula. We have circumference equals 2 times pi times 5. The order doesn't matter in multiplication, so let's multiply this 2 and this 5. We get the circumference equals 10 pi. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now let's do this one. The circle's radius is 3 and we want the circumference. Let's apply the formula. Its circumference equals 2 times pi times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And voila! The circumference is 6 pi. You must have realized the pattern here. Simply multiply the radius with 2 and put a pi next to it. Ok, now I'm going to show you a circle and you'll have 5 seconds to tell the circumference. If you feel anxious or anything, feel free to pause the video for more time. So here we go. The circumference of the circle is 4 pi. The radius is 2. 2 times pi times 2 is 4 pi. Now, there is an important part of the circle that you really need to know and it's called the diameter. And I'll let my son explain it. Go ahead, son. Hello, everyone. The diameter is the line that goes from one edge of the circle to the opposite edge. And it must pass through the center. The diameter is always twice the radius so that's what you need to know about the diameter it's two times the radius and how does that help us when finding the circumference of the circle circumference is 2 pi r i just said the diameter is 2 r so that means the circumference equals to pi times the diameter now, let's use this new piece of information to find the circumference of this circle. We know the diameter is 7, and we also know the formula that uses the diameter, which is circumference equals p times the diameter. Let's replace d with 7. We get the circumference equals 7 pi. And that was too easy indeed. If you watched to this point, you should now feel ready to find the circumference of any circle you will come across. If you think this video was useful, please make sure you push the like button and to get more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and see you soon.